welcome back to Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Today, I have a Sam's Club ha Prepper Haul for y'all. Um, if you remember, if you seen my video yesterday where I was sitting outside of my Sam's Club and I was letting you know what my Sam's looked like, my Walmart looked like, and what my area is looking like. Um, um, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave the link down below and I appreciate it if you would watch it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this video. So let's start over here with the Dawn dish soap. If y'all remember, I hauled um, a bunch of little Dawn dish soaps from my Dollar Tree. And I said that's how I like to prep them. And so, so, so many of y'all told me to save some money and go out and buy the, the big jug and fill it from there. So that's what I did. Um, so I did get one of those. And this is 90 ounces for $8 and some some change. I don't remember exactly how much. And I also picked up, let's go right back here. Um, y'all, um, if y'all remember, I hauled a little barbecue pit, um, little cheap $25, I think, barbecue grill that I got in, in my Dollar General haul one, um, the other day. And y'all, I only had a couple of bags of charcoal prepped, so I do not, I am not prepared when it comes to charcoal or lighter fluid because this is the only lighter fluid I have. Um, so I did pick up a, um, it comes in a two pack of the Kingsford Charcoal Lighter Fluid. Um, this is the odorless and it's um, 64 ounces each. And I also grabbed a 20 pound bag, two of them, because it comes with two, of uh, the Kingsford Original um, Charcoal. Y'all, you put those in your um, little mini charcoal grill and put the lid on it, get it heating up, put your lid on it. Then you can take your bread that you have made um, in a situation, uh, put it in your loaf pans and stick it right into that barbecue grill. Put the lid back on and there's your oven. Um, so these are uh, That would be a wonderful source of having an oven. And when you run out of your charcoal, of course, you're going to need a sun oven. So make sure you're prepping your charcoal, your lighter fluid. And if you don't have a little barbecue grill, you might want to get you one or two. So... All right, so I also picked up some lighters um, while I was there. This was $7 and some change for these four lighters. Um, so I grabbed that. Also, parchment paper. That's one of those things that's been um, slipping my mind. Um, I've been putting it on my list. I have many lists, y'all. Many, 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 many lists. But for some reason, those lists never make it to the store. I don't know. So anyway, I picked up one of those. Also, y'all, they have the Sterno cans there. They're the two-hour safe heat. It's an 18-pack, and this was just right around $20. Um, so I picked up one of those. Also, y'all, looky here. Looky here. For some of y'all that have been around with me for a long time, um, back from my previous channel, um, I used to haul this uh, Members Mark French Rose Coffee um, a lot. That is my favorite coffee. I don't need a name brand. I don't want a name brand. The Great Value and the Members Mark French Roast is my absolute favorite coffee. Beat Starbucks, Dunkin', any of them. Um, I treated myself yesterday and I picked up a box of those because um, I had switched to the Instant um, because this is $29 plus tax um, which equals to somewhere around $33, $34 a box. Um, and get a hundred pods, but in my house, um, it only lasts about three weeks. Um, we drink a lot of coffee in this house. So yeah, that's pretty expensive. I switched up to the Folgers Instant, which is, you, at that point in time, was $7.77 for the 12 ounce container. Um, but now it is $8.88 or $8.77. Um, even so, you compare the two and it's a huge savings. But I did treat myself, and I'm drinking a cup of it now, and it is so good. So, yeah, I treated myself and got a box of coffee. I also picked up this garlic pepper seasoning. Um, my sister had hauled this, and she told me about it, and she was telling me how amazingly good it is. And I said, well, it's just garlic and pepper. She said, no, that it has uh, lots of other things in it, and it has dehydrated garlic. Black pepper, salt, brown sugar, dehydrated onion, dehydrated red bell pepper, parsley, and garlic oil. So, yeah. So, I prepped one of these. i um, anxious to try it out. Also, y'all know, and if you don't know, you will you will know, uh, I love hot, spicy foods. So, I picked up a, a jar of the sliced um, 
jalapenos to put on my pantry sh shelf. Sorry, y'all. Can't talk today. And I also picked up um, a member's mark. 13.5 ounce crushed red pe um, peppers. All right, let's move on over here. Y'all, batteries are so, so, so important. And it is important to get a good name brand energizer. Um, get you a good name brand battery that's going to last. It'll give you a 10-year guarantee on them. Um, I do haul the Dollar Tree battery sometimes. When you just, Batteries are expensive. Not everybody can afford to go out and spend $20 a pop to buy batteries. Um, it is a treat when I get to. Um, I was able to pick up the name brand yesterday, so that's what I did. Um, but there is no shame in the game for prepping those Dollar Tree batteries, y'all. They just don't last as long, but they do work in a pitch. So, I did pick up these. There are, how many batteries? 48 um, AA batteries. All right. Also, I picked up the Idaho Spuds Golden Grill Hash Browns from Sam's. I looked on the ingredients. It has... Um, Idaho potatoes, salt, contains 2% or less of dextrose, freshness preserved with sodium bulsified. I don't see anywhere where it says anything about oil. So, I'm assuming these are okay if you want to prep these. I know that um, um, Homestead Corner, um, she had some, I don't remember if it was Sam's, it might have been Costco, y'all, I'm not sure. But um, people um, have been prepping and they had sunflower oil in them, so um, a little minute amount. Um, but these don't, so these are good. Um, so just read your um, ingredients if you're hauling these um, hash brown potatoes because you want to get the longest that you can out of your preps. So any kind of oil will make things go uh, rancid quicker. Um, so you just got to weigh it out for you. That's like me for the instant mashed potatoes. Hey, I want it with the butter already in there. I'll, you know, I'll just take the the less time until it goes rancid i guess but um yeah so these don't have no oil so go ahead and prep these these are um, good to prep i also picked up a, another non um, instant milk um this is the instant non-fat dairy milk y'all i don't i don't use much milk at all um i drink it on occasion i like milk i love milk I just don't drink a lot. And a lot of my recipes, a lot of the cooking I do doesn't call for milk. There are some, like you're going to need it for um, biscuits. And you are going to need milk. So this is why I am prepping it. Um, but the dry milk is the one that lasts the longest. Um, I do have lots of um, of the, um, oh, y'all, Goster milk um, prepped up as well. Um, we use that for cereal and things like that in the house. Um, on a pinch, if, we're, if we don't have regular milk, then we do grab some of the Gossner off the shelf. But make sure you're peppering your milk, y'all, because you will need it for um, certain bread recipes and, and things like that. So I did grab another one of these. Um, these are just some of the things, y'all, that um, I've been um, missing um, during my preps. Um, so I wanted to pick them up. Um, using, utilizing this time where we are finding things on the shelf um, to grab them while I see them. Um, Trust and believe everything that I get, money I get in my hand, I will be filling it in where I can. And, um, yeah, and I hope you are doing the same. Um, some people get paid once a month, weekly, however you get paid. Do what you can do. That's all you can do. Um, God will take care of the rest. Um, so, y'all, um, hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope it um, jogged your memory about a few things. I do have... Um, another um, haul video coming up for y'all in a few days. So please stay tuned for that along with some other videos. Um, I appreciate each and every one of y'all that are um, supporting my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap the bell. Go ahead, tap that bell. That's how you get notified when I upload new videos. Um, this is a sharing, caring community. So leave your tips and tricks in the comments down below. Um, we like to, uh, everybody likes to keep up to date with what's going on around the country and around the world. A lot of y'all are in different countries, and that's the way to get the uh, most accurate of what's going on is through people like you and I. Um, sometimes the news media tends to leave things out or adds to them. 
So, um, yeah. So, Lee, share any kind of news, tips and tricks you got. Um, we all be grateful for those. Um, yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in. And y'all, come on back. I'll see you right back here next time at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Keep on keeping on, y'all.